The dying and the statues came a long way. We came a long way just to hear you say, You still have power. Not fight. Not fight. Not fight. Not fight. You still have power. Not fight. Not fight. The dying and the statues came a long way. We came a long way just to hear you say, You still have power. of the galaxy, a space shuttle travels across the planets until it reaches its destination of a satellite in need of repairs. This is USS Omega, come in NASA. USS Omega reporting to NASA, come in NASA. This is David Jackson. Jerome, are you receiving any disturbing signals? Negative, Captain, except NASA has sent a distress signal to carry out our mission. And there's the satellite. From what the sensors show, it needs repairs. On your way, Lieutenant. I'll monitor your position and contact NASA. I'll go get suited up and make the best necessary repairs. NASA, come in. This is Captain David Jackson reporting. We have reached the satellite. Our assignment is underway. Suited up and ready to go. Drone exits out. I'm on my way. Now that is one big satellite. The damage is worse than I thought. I'll fix it in no time at all. And aboard the space shuttle. Jerome, come in. Can you read me okay? Are you on my frequency? I read you, buddy. Repair is almost completed. But Jerome is unaware of a loose electrical wire. Okay, that should do it. Ah! Jerome, Jerome, what's wrong? But Jerome has been knocked unconscious. There he is. Keep trying to reach him. I'll be back. Yes, Captain. Suddenly, a meteor shower strikes. Open the latch door for me. Yes, sir. Hang in there, pal. I'm coming for you. David finally catches up to his friend. Jerome, wake up. What's wrong? Don't worry. I got you. I'm going to reel us back in. We're almost there. NASA, come in. A meteor shower has befallen us. I can't reach the captain. A meteor fireball suddenly strikes the shuttle. NASA has informed us to abort the mission. All of a sudden, the shock wave of the impact sends the two astronauts drifting away further. We've lost their signal. We can't monitor their position. They're gone. We'll have to go back without them. Alas, the space shuttle Omega returns back to planet Earth, leaving two of its astronauts behind, believed to be lost. David Jackson and Jerome Lewis, helpless and motionless, they drift off into space. Meanwhile, on the desolate moon, in a dome, thousands of miles away, is a planetary meeting taking place. I, celestial arbitrator, call on all the solar systems of the galaxy and universe to attend this annual planetary council meeting. This time, we will have to work all together. Because of the changes in our climate, State your problems, okay? From Mars. We should all live in peace among ourselves. It is our only hope. Believe from planet Jupiter. The atmosphere around my planet is cooling. Kyle has already stated his dilemma. Blank. Nugget from planet Venus. And 
enough of this stupid nonsense. Laser from Neptune? You will have your turn to speak. My component glows and warns me of unexpected danger. That's not true. It glows when he's angry. We should not inform each other of each own weakness. To do so is not very wise. Even Star from planet Pluto agrees with me. The basis of this annual meeting is not about weakness, but of unity and interstellar peace. Interstellar peace will not solve our problem at all. And as you can see, we grow tired of you and this meeting. Then it is settled. We Neptunians and Plutonians will take over. <laughs> Suddenly, war breaks out. And all the different aliens clash. Is all this violence necessary? All of you, listen. We must find a safe place to hide. And so, the representatives flee for safety. Follow me, fellow leaders. I know where to go. At that moment, we made it. Jerome, we're on safe ground, finally. We are? Easy now. What is this place, David? I think we're on a moon. You mean this ain't Kansas? Uh, that's just great. By the way, how are you feeling? Are you experiencing any side effects? Well, my head feels woozy. Got some space, Anderson? I'll fill you in on what happened. I was hoping you would. Hey, David, teach me the moonwalk. Get real. For hours, David and Jerome walk along the craters until... Hey, David, look. Up on that hill. What could it be? There's only one way to find out. True enough, it was a bright glow. Upon reaching the top, they discover... A crater? Looks like it. Something must have happened. I'll say let's go check it out. We'll never know what we may find. Both slide their way down. Hey, David. Come here. Check this out. Jerome notices an arm-like object and gets a close encounter. Ah! D -d David, what is it? An alien. He must be as scared of us as we are of him. Or her. Then the other aliens surface to meet the guys. Both parties stare at each other. Now that's fascinating. Amazed and curious themselves, the aliens come out. We too are pleased to meet you. Do you understand him? He says there's much for us to talk about. Oogie oogie, boogie oog noogie. What? Now what did he say? David, this atmosphere is breathable. What? How? There's oxygen nitrogen here, so we must take off our helmets right now, or we can suffocate in seconds. So we better do as they say, otherwise we're in grave danger. Let's take it off. Jerome, are you crazy? Listen to what you're saying. Don't do it. You can suff, suff. David, what's wrong? Tell me. I can't, I can't breathe. Br br the little alien warns Jerome. Boogie! I hope it's not too late. Finally, the helmet comes off. Hours later, David regains consciousness. Earth to David, wakey wakey. How are you feeling, pal? You alive? Oh boy. I gotta get up. No, don't. You'll hit your head. No problem. He's okay. How are you, Dave? Like you said, woozy. Uh, Jerome? Maybe I hit my head harder than I thought. Where are we? Come, I'll show you. This way. I'll give you a little tour. I guess I slept too long. Oh, man. David, I'd like you to meet our host, Oogie. How are you feeling now? Did you get plenty of sleep? You speak? 
looks like plenty isn't the word for David. They speak in over three million universal languages. Let us introduce ourselves. I'm Oogie from Mars. My name is Cleep. My home planet is Jupiter. Thank you from Mercury. Eon, I'm from Saturn. I ain't talk off from Uranus. Beck is my name. I'm from Venus. Hmm. I don't know about you, but I think they're cute. Have you forgotten us? Be cool. <laughs> Laser and star. Why did you start a war? The interplanetary council meeting was a waste of time. The celestial arbitrator was a traitor to his own kind. That is a lie. I do know it. We would like to forget about the past and join forces. We're on our way to planet Earth to drop them off. You may come along for the ride. At least for now. System check. Check, Oogie. Minutes later, our heroes head toward their new destination. The alien spaceship travels across the galaxy through time and light speed. Meanwhile, Eon and David spend time in the cafeteria. Are you not hungry, David? Well, Eon, it isn't that. It seems good. Why don't you try some of our Munola Cola? Munola Cola? Stars eating her glug. Thanks, but no thanks. I just lost my appetite. Moments later, the spacecraft enters the Earth's atmosphere. Jerome, we're just entering the Earth's gravity. All system controls are unstable. Hold on. <laughs> the spaceship loses control and lands in the ocean. Okay, listen. The ocean has drained all our power. What should we do? We better escape now. The ship may explode in a matter of minutes. Miles away, a Navy ship makes an incredible discovery. Sir, it seems to look like a UFO. Our radar sensors have picked up strong electrical power. Listen up. Send away an expedition team right now. Yes, sir. Meanwhile, back at the spaceship, David and the others swim away toward land and safety. What are you two waiting for? Let's go. We cannot. We must try and make repairs. Laser, I built this ship. There's no time for repairs. We got to leave now. No. You must leave instead of us. Yes, leave! Okay, but I have something here for both of you. If you run into any trouble, swallow these space capsules I produced. Surprised and confused? When the time comes, we may. I hope the others are okay. Jerome swims away to meet his friends. And on the seashore nearby, you can let go of me now, Tonka. We're safe now, Nugget. You can stop holding your breath. Meanwhile, Laser and Star have other plans. We don't need them, Star. We'll leave this place and abandon them. The fools! When? Who goes there? I said who? Suddenly. Bring the trap now! Total blackout. As for Jerome, he then catches up with his pals. Looks like we all made it. What about Laser and Star? They wouldn't come with me. Well, we're just glad to know that you're all right. That's right! All of a sudden... Everyone, come quick. What are they doing? Oh no! They're taking away our spaceship! True enough, the FBI and the Navy had already arrived. Take any prisoners alive. I want a complete investigation report. Looks like we caught two big live ones. Powerless and weak, the two surrender. Our 
our ship. It's going to overload and self-destruct. As the spacecraft is hauled away, it shakes uncontrollably. Everybody take cover. It's going to explode. Get down. And then... Well, I guess that's that. I just hope that Laser and Star got away in time. We better get out of here now. Shocked and surprised, the aliens stay still. Come on, let's go, Jerome. We'll take the aliens home with us. Sounds good to me. The last remains of the UFO disappear. And Jerome and friends go home. Hours later, Laser wakes up in a research lab and under the evil control of a scientist. Oh, come now, you two aliens, don't waste my time. Before I begin research, tell me where you come from and why you're here. No? Very well then. More shock treatment again! Unable to move, Laser is tortured over and over through volts of electricity. Don't like the pain? Then tell me what I want to know. If you do, I'll make the pain go away. Or else, you'll be recycled! We know you can speak our language. Don't take me for a fool. You may be strong, Jim Can, but your friend isn't. Very well. You win. Just turn off your power. I knew you were going to cooperate. Don't worry, you'll get what's coming to you. But first, you have to come closer. Are the secrets on your plate? Yes, they're hidden deep inside my wire units. If you come even closer, you'll see them. How's this? Close enough. <laughs> Shortly, Laser and Star free themselves. You okay, Star? I think so. I'll live. Uh. One thing is for sure. I will never trust these human beings. Never. So will I, friend. But you and I must stick together. And what we need to do now is take these capsules right now. Minutes later, two prisoners escape. Oh, who goes there? Easy now, friend. I'm kind of lost. I think you better come with me, quietly. Suddenly... I don't think so! Oh! That night, David, Drone, and the aliens go home. And relax watching TV. The aliens are enjoying themselves watching different programs. Good evening, and welcome to another edition of Bandstand Boogie. Hello, TV fans. I'm your host, Tyrone the Bone Bongoli. Let's start off this evening with a brand new hit song, Hot Lips, by the new recording artist, BJ Bubbles. Wow, our new friends sure love music. You got that right. Hey, I just got a terrific idea, Jerome. Really? What is it? Since they love music, and since they're staying with us now, let's show them. This device changes images? Yep. It's big press this button. Yo, yo, yo! Y'all ready for this? Come on now, everybody. You can do it. Let's all sweat together. Good work, Cosmo. Thanks. Let's teach these little ones how to dance. We'll form a group. Let's see now. Costumes will not be a problem at all. Furthermore, they'll each have new identities and look just like humans. Suddenly, there's a knock at the door. Uh-oh. We better find a place to hide. Quick! Hi, Jerome. Do you have sugar? Uh, why, why, sure. But Nugget is discovered. Oh, Jerome! This is a cute toy. Where do the batteries go? Uh, here's some sugar, Lisa. Thanks. I'll see you later. Bye, Lisa. I gave you plenty of sugar, okay? Whew. That was too close. Anyway, 
At least she won't bother us for a while. David, ever since I had that accident in space. You mean by the space satellite? That has to be it. There's no other explanation. Somehow it made me super intellectual. Even when I built the ship, it technically advanced my knowledge incredibly. That may explain the reason why I was knocked unconscious by the electrical wire. And to prove that I'm right, each alien will take one of these. Dinky will be action. Eon will now be comet. Tonka is now trooper. Nugget can be pinky. Bleep will now be flame. And Oogie will become bolt. Well, how do we look? Well, well, well. Don't you think they look special? Oh my gosh. Real nifty. How about two more costumes for you and me? Hmm. I don't think that should be a problem. And within moments, what do you think? Is it me? Jerome, <laughs> you look real slick. Now to pick out a name which suits me. Since a satellite made me what I am, I shall keep that name for me. As for me, I'll be Meteor. Now we're ready. I'll teach you all the art of dancing. It's a special form of artistic ability to the public throughout the world and people. That's what we want. Then let's go. Let's dance. Weeks later, a dance contest is held. Our first contestants are a two-man team. They are Disco Puppies. Take it away, fellas. But... Oh, gee. That's too bad. Go back to e kibbles and bits. Now, here's our next contestants. Pepe and Lolita. Er, uh, excuse me. Lambada, Lolita. Lambada away, my friends. Without warning, a banana peel is thrown. Oh, that's such a shame. And you two were off to a good start, too. Pepe! Yeah! I guess that's why they call the Lambada, the Forbidden Dance. Now our third contestants our six lean, keen dancing machine. Okay, team, do your thing. Okay, dancers, let's do it. Feel the power. Let's dance. Then the music starts. When the music finished, the children applauded. But all of a sudden, two figures jump out into the open. Remember us, Oogie? It's me, Laser. And I'm Star. And we're not very happy. Laser, blast, action, and comment. We don't like humans, especially those who dance. Here, Pinky, catch. You'll see, Laser and I can sense who you all are. Or at least what you were. Stand back, Boat Trooper, don't. Laser, my superpower is flipping. And this is mine. Trooper! Tell me you're getting this. I got it, I got it. So you're a boat, eh? You should have joined us, boat. We could have ruled side by side. Behind you. What the? How did? With lightning speed, boat bedazzles laser. Can't seem to focus. What's wrong, laser? Forget about me. Relax, Bolt. You got hit badly. I got careless. Surprisingly, Star tilts. 
What's happening? Losing her balance. You're oh. not like the others. Who are you? Just call me Satellite. Don't forget it. Don't worry, Star. Satellite moves so fast. I didn't see him. I give him a blast to worry about. Back off, Laser. Leave my friends alone. Don't know where you came from, but this isn't over yet, dancers. You haven't heard the last of us. We'll meet again. And we'll be waiting, bad guy. Are you all okay? Never better. Thanks, Meteor. For once, we all found out what we love to do, to dance. And if Laser and Star return, then we'll be ready for them. That was a dynamic show. What's your team name? Just call us the Dynamic Dancers. Looks like our friends are truly dynamic. You know, David, I wouldn't be at all surprised. This is the beginning of a great thing. And so, this is how the Dynamic Dancers came to be. A dynamic sensation. See you soon. <laughs>